YouTube launches a new feature called Product Drops and also adds features to Shorts inside iOS and Android. The backend of Meta's Ads Manager has a tech error that causes overspending in multiple ad accounts. Visa, the global giant in the payment space, reveals plans for their ambitious Web3 project that involves blockchain and payments. All these exciting news items and much more coming up in this 199th weekly edition of the Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Yes, we're just one week away from the 200th episode. I'm excited and can't wait. This is the show that brings you the top five digital, social media and Web3 news that you need to know for this week in just five minutes. Let's get started. Last week, Meta's ad system seemed to have had a tech error that caused overspending in multiple ad accounts. Ad accounts around the world reported on Twitter and various other social media platforms that they have started seeing overspending or increase in their CPMs and all the other spending metrics suddenly. And just within a few hours, Meta's marketing solutions team member got on Twitter, acknowledged the problem, and they kind of assured that even if something went wrong, they will make it right. Now, that could be refunds or I don't know what their plans are, but this did happen to multiple ad accounts. It might be good for you to check your ad account and inform this to your ministry advertising team and ask them to have a look at the last couple of weeks and see if they see any change in the spending patterns. YouTube launched a new feature called Product Drops that let you launch products during your live stream. You can currently do that, but the thing is, even before you launch the product, you have to add the product details to the live stream settings then your audience will be able to see all the product details even before you talk about it. So it's not like a real launch. You are revealing lots of details ahead of time. Now that changes with this new uh, product drops feature. The other announcement is about shorts features on iOS and Android. iOS finally gets the feature to add a thumbnail as you upload shorts using the mobile app. And Android gets the feature which I always had for a long time where you can reply to a comment with shots. Slack, the popular messaging app, has been talking about a new feature called Canvas since 2022. But finally, last week, they rolled it out. And this is a feature that brings almost a Google Doc or a Notion kind of a feature where you can have a document inside Slack messaging app. I know many of you listening to me already use Slack for your nonprofit church or ministry work. And this new feature will help you build documents inside your chat without having to open another window or another browser. This is not probably going to replace your Google Drive, but I'm sure it's going to increase your productivity by giving you the ability to add a lot of details within a particular channel. If you're using Slack, you are already probably saving a lot of time because of its productivity features. This seems to be another feature that could help you save more time. If you're not yet part of our WhatsApp news and trends broadcast group, then I want to quickly invite you to consider joining the free online private announcement group. This is not a WhatsApp group where you come and chat with everyone. This is a one-way announcement group where we send you news and trends on a regular basis, including this five. But apart from this five, we send you a lot of other breaking news every week. I also share some strategies and thoughts inside the group, and it is an exclusive community for uh, leaders and media teams of nonprofits, churches, and ministries. So everything we share there has that context in it. If you're part of a ministry and if you want more news and trends, deliver to your WhatsApp app then you might want to consider joining. Scan this QR code, I'll see you inside the group. LinkedIn published an interesting report last week about the latest technology and marketing trends. This is a report that is based on a survey that they have conducted, an extensive survey, and it throws light into lots of areas that might be interesting for you. And it might also operationally give you ideas about how to spend your technology budget and marketing budgets. We generally don't see lots of reports talking about budget trends, like, for example, how are big organizations spending their tech budget? What kind of percentage of their budget goes into software, hardware, 
all those type of things. As nonprofits and ministries, especially your tech team does not have insights into how to spend their budgets or your marketing team is wondering how larger organizations are spending their budget. This is a report that will give you those insights. Check it out. Visa, the leader in the global payment space, has revealed that they are embarking on an ambitious Web3 project which might involve building a product that will deal with, as per the announcement, public blockchain networks and stablecoin payments. So this announcement was revealed or announced in an indirect way by the head of crypto at Visa getting on Twitter and saying that they are looking for software developers to be involved in this product development. And when you look at the link that is attached to this tweet, it shows the job description of the requirement that throws light into what Visa might be working on. It seems to be an interesting product that combines blockchain technology and payments inside Web3, which could be revolutionary given the size of Visa. If you have any questions on any of the stories we talked about, then DM me at Nachi Lazarus on Instagram or Twitter, or simply leave a comment wherever you're listening to me. We will make sure we answer all your questions or get you all the information that you need. I'll see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected and stay blessed. God bless you.